Hello and welcome back to DRI TV. I'm Ben Schmidt, joining you from the Diabetes Research Institute at the University of Miami. Scientists here continue to make progress on the DRI Biohub, a bioengineered mini organ containing thousands of insulin producing cells that sense blood sugar and release the precise insulin needed in real time. But getting enough of those cells to treat millions with diabetes is critical for reaching a biological cure. And it's an area of intense focus at the DRI. In this episode of DRI TV, we're taking a look at one strategy for solving the shortage of insulin producing cells and bringing the promise of restoring natural insulin production to people like you and me. Dr. Giacomo Lanzoni is passionate about stem cells, but not just any stem cell, only the kind that can be turned into insulin producing cells. His focus now? A small duct that connects the liver and the pancreas to the intestines. It's called the biliary tree. It's lined with stem cells called pancreatic precursors. And it's got DRI researchers pretty excited. For patients with type 1 diabetes, which are millions and millions worldwide, there's a need, there's a necessity for uh, novel beta cells. So we really need uh, cells to do the task. So we believe that stem cells could really make a difference in, in this sense. We have studied different stem cells from very different sources, and we were looking for the ones that have the capacity to mature toward beta cells. We have identified stem cells in the beta tree that can mature toward pancreatic and liver fate. Among pancreatic fates, um, we have the beta cell, the functional beta cell, which mm -hmm. makes insulin. DRI collaborator Dr. Lola Reed and her team discovered the biliary tree stem cells. Dr. Reed is a foremost expert in liver development. Now, working together, the research teams have shown that biliary tree stem cells can be transformed into insulin producing cells. The biliary tree is a stem cell niche from which we can collect stem cells, so we designed ways to fish out the cells from the tissue, and um, we also uh, designed protocols for the maturation of these cells towards the insulin producing beta cells. We transplanted them in anim an animal model of diabetes, and uh, the uh, transplantation of these cells um, dramatically improved blood glucose control in this animal. The results of these promising studies were recently published in leading scientific journals. I think it's a great opportunity that we have to identify a reliable source of islets that we can transplant in patients with type 1 diabetes. That is an important part in our biohab approach where we want to identify an alternative site of implant that is not the liver because there are problems in the liver. So we're looking at the omental pouch. I think that the biliary tree stem cells are going to be a fantastic opportunity for us to move the biohub forward. The next step, to show that these special stem cells can reverse diabetes in preclinical models, then in a patient within a DRI biohub. For more on this exciting progress, stay connected to the DRI website and join me, Ben Schmidt, for more episodes of DRI TV. The DRI will get us to a cure with your help and support.